What's going on, y'all? Wolf we'll back at you again with another reaction. Alright, y'all, before we move on to this Bleach Zanpakuto Rebellion filler arc. Uh, I'm actually 10 episodes ahead on my Patreon, so if you're interested in watching those with the full reaction available, of course, uh, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what happened last couple episodes? I believe Ikaku Zanpakuto is causing a muck. It fucking bonkai Um, and honestly, when I saw the bonkai, I realized we haven't actually seen Ikaku's bonkai much. In fact, I feel like we've only seen it once in the Ikaku versus Edrado fight, right? Damn, that sucks. Because that's one of the cooler Bankais. It's a charge Bankai. You know, that, that's like the only charge Bankai we've seen. So, in fighting games, right, or in Street Fighter, there are characters called charge characters. These characters are stronger um, on how much uh, EX meter they have. Sorry if you don't know what these terms mean. I'm just giving you an example, right? And when these, and when these bars fill up, um, that means they can cast more, more powerful attacks. And Ikaku's Bankai reminded me of that because, you know, once the fucking dragon charges up, Kadoosh is a fucking nuke, right? So I definitely wish I would have seen his Bankai more. It's, it's, it's really, it might be the most powerful. Like one shot, bon if we're talking about one shots, that's a fucking one shot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I would have, I would have loved to see it more, especially in 1080p, but it's back now. Uh, not in Ikaku's hands, but we'll probably see it again. Um, we also have Gegutsu Budi, fucking Omaida's Zanpakuto running around, but he seems pretty weak. Ichigo de dealt with him pretty, pretty easily, honestly. And um, now uh, Byakuya has Byakuya's back, but uh, his his return's a little strange because we don't we don't know whether he was attacking, you know, Huzuki Maru with his Senbon Zakura or he was attacking Ichigo with his Senbon Zakura. So I don't really know what's going on. It's a little bit confusing. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let, um, obviously, the episodes flesh it out for me, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's go and get into it. This is our Bleach episodes 238 and 239. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let's go, bro. Oh, damn. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Oh, 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 that's a Honestly, it kind of sucks that Kiraku Zanpakuto, Ukitake Zanpakuto, and Unohana Zanpakuto were used to seal the Ryujin Jaka. Because those four Zanpaktos, I definitely want to see their materialization forms, but... I get it. I get it. Because those, those four are possibly the strongest Zanpaktos of them all. You know, so... I get they're trying to keep them... Keep them waiting. So I get it. Also, where is Kenpachi? <laughs> the fuck? Is he okay? He's been sick since the Ichigo fight. Also, he's chilling in a hollow cave, it looks like. Damn. I wonder what's wrong with him. Oh, he's not he's not too sick to too weak to do that. <laughs> Yo, did I just peep Heineko? Is she thick? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, she Whoa! Okay, this that, those are probably the clothes, but nonetheless she looking thick. God damn. Okay, Heineko. I guess I shouldn't expect anything less from Matsumoto Zanpakuto. <laughs> Matsumoto got the up top. Looks like Hanako got the bot. Okay, okay. I like it. You know, actually, this kind of makes sense. This interaction between Hyorin Maru, Tobiome, and uh, Hanako. Because with Toshiro, Matsumoto is, is, the, is the lieutenant. So they're obviously close. And Hinamori is Toshiro's childhood friend, right? So they're kind of close. I like that. It's like, it's like similar. It's different, but it's, you know, the same in kind of a way. Oh, shit. So, if I remember correctly, Heineko actually has invisible... 
or rather Ash as blades, while you know, Byakia has petals as blades. So same thing. I'd say Heineko's a little bit more dangerous though. Ash, like that's smaller, and stings more probably. But I guess Senbonzakura has more mass to it. Well, Hinamori is a keto master, right? So this is actually really good, because Zanpak Toes can't use keto, correct? So Hinamori might have might actually have the upper hand here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Damn, she's actually bringing up Aizen. That's Hinamori's trigger right there. Honestly, Tobiomi might, might be just, just as mad as, as we we were uh, to, at, at Hinamori for fucking thinking Hi Aizen was a good guy for so goddamn long, right? So it's either Shirayuki. Oh, that's Hyorimaru. Okay. Well, now we need Hitsugai to show up, right? <laughs> Seems like the common theme of this arc so far. Everyone fights their own Zanpak toes. He looks very cool. He looks very cool. Very cool design. What? What the fuck happened to his memories? <laughs> oh shit. Every other Zanpak toe seems to have their memories, but I guess not Hyorin Maru. That's very weird. Well, Hitsugaya, can you jumpstart his memory, please? Hey, speaking of my guy. Just in time. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice job, Uramasa. Those are a lot of Gillians. I guess he's pretty strong. The fuck's wrong with him though? He's ca he's like losing his breath, catching his breath and shit. What the heck? What's going on with him, man? All right, next episode, y'all. Next episode. Heineko, Tobiome, and Hyorin Maru in action. Woohoo! So Heineko and Matsumoto's fight seems to be about who the fuck has more sex appeal. <laughs> and Tobiyome and uh, Hinamori's fight is basically about Aizen. Okay, I like how each fight has their theme, you know? Renji and Zabimaru was about weakness. Oh! What? When did they when did they link eyes to what? GG What the fuck? When did they do that? At one point when they were fighting each of their Zanpak toes, they must have had eye contact just for a split second. And then was like, okay, I understand. Damn, nice plan. That's true, Hinamori, but they're just talking about looks. You're talking about being young internally. Being young, young internally sucks. Because you don't know shit. And then, you, and then you, you learn everything the hard way. Being young physically, that's not a bad thing. Mudada. Mudada. Ooh, this OST though. 
This OST is hype. Holy shit, he froze the Shaka Ho. <laughs> oh, damn. That was kind of fire. Oh. Wow. A place where you belong? Damn, that's a deep one. That's a deep one. Some people go their whole lives and can't find the answer to that question. Personally, I think I belong on the internet. Like and subscribe if you agree. <laughs> oh god. Wow, he wasn't even a story bird then? Holy shit. He must have been really talented to become a captain. If that's the case. Shit, man. He's gonna be a beast when he grows up. Honestly. He's gonna be a fucking beast. I hope they keep progressing him. Like a prodigy. Okay, whatever they're doing right now is like really deep, bro. Holy shit. Like, this is a filler, but I'm feeling this right now. Oh no, he's the reason why. That's actually so sad. Well, he's, he's partly the reason why his... Oh, that's so sad, bro. He's been killing his grandma because of his fucking ice power. Wow. I actually like this a lot. This backstory. What the fuck? How, why didn't they show this in the, in the, in the canon? This is so good. Are they stupid? <laughs> he almost killed his grandma because of his soul reaper powers. That's insane. Yeah. We are your master, bitch. What's up? Bow to me. Yodin Maru. Fire. Yes. Wow, I actually got goosebumps off that. That was nice. What the fuck? I'm glad they gave the Toshiro a good, uh... Oh, that's fire too. God damn! Okay, this is definitely the best episode of the filler thus far. This episode was fire, bro. Or should I say, ice. No, sorry. Sorry. Oh yeah, who the fuck is this? Was that a Vasta Lorde's hollow? Uh, what? Is he absorbing him? What is he doing? I think he's absorbing him, guys. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell that was at the end there. Muramasa looked like he was absorbing him. Um, perhaps because Muramasa is growing weak for some reason. He's coughing up blood. He's like catching himself out of breath. 
And now he's absorbing this, I think, either at Juchas or Vasto Lorde's hollow, right? To gain, regain some power. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm just making guesses at this point. But, um, dude, this definitely was the best episode of the filler. This Hyorin Maru, Toshiro's backstory was actually fucking good. How is this not canon? Why didn't they make- he almost killed his grandmother because his sword powers were coming alive, freezing the room. Oh man, it's so good. That's actually so good. Um, okay, and of course the theme for Hidden Maru was a place where you were a, a place to belong. A very good theme. One of the, one of their best themes, honestly, because I mean, again, I've said it. I said it during the reaction, but people go their whole lives not knowing where they belong. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, shit. You know, I, I, I feel like I figured out where I belong. I belong on the internet, talking to y'all. This is this is where I belong. You know what I'm saying? So. But a lot of people go through their whole lives and they do not find an answer, which is kind of insane. So, nice theme on that part. Obviously, Hyori Mario's design, human and dragon form, is sick. Super sick. You know, super icy, if you will. Um, yeah. The Heineko and the uh, the Tobiomi fight was meh. The ending was good. That, that, that uh, Matsumoto and Hinamori, you know, behind the scenes actually thought of a plan to take them out that was good you know some teamwork there but meh other than that meh 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 but this one this Hyonin Maru Hitsugaya very good very good I fuck with this heavy for sure um okay well uh I mean slowly but surely we're knocking out all the Zanpak toes we have Zangetsu back Sabi Maru Hyonin Maru um we're working on um we have Tobiome back we have Hainiko we're working on Senban Zakura, I think. We saw we saw a, a glimpse of Byakuya, right? So he, I think he's working on it. He's just working on it off camera. <laughs> we're working on Hozuki Maru. We're working on um, we're working on Gegutsuburi. I think. Uh, well, he's already locked down, so he should be good. And yeah, I mean, eventually we'll get all the Zanpak toes on our side, and Wintermas is not going to have any bullets in his gun, and we're eventually going to take him down. Yay! But then again, we don't really know how strong Wintermasa is. Um, he hasn't, we, haven't, we haven't really gauged his strength, right? He seems pretty. He seems to handle each uh, Bankai Ichigo very easily, you know what I'm saying? So it's safe to say he's pretty goddamn strong himself, at least his base strength is, so. Um, so yeah, and we don't even know what his final plan is, to be honest, so. He's just taking over all these Zanpak Do's, so. Anyway, um, good, very good filler episode right here. I fuck with it. Hyorin Maru, Hitsugaya, fucking a dynamic duo. Thumbs up for them. Also, man, Toshiro, I feel like he just recently became a Soul Reaper and then shortly afterwards became a captain. That's insane, bro. I forgot the time on that. I forgot how long it actually took him to, to become a captain, but it doesn't seem that long because uh, Matsumoto was already a Soul Reaper when Toshiro was just fucking buying, you know, medicine at the grocery store or whatever. So, damn. All right. Well, honestly, man, I really hope they keep developing Toshiro. Um, in the final arc because you know, th they're, they're they're making him out to be a prodigy this whole time, right? And I really hope they keep progressing on that because man, I want to see him pop off. Loki, he took a lot of L's. I want to say that he, he took some L's. Aizen one-shot him, right? Um, he stabbed Hidemori in the back because of Aizen. Aizen's fucking genjutsu, right? He couldn't 1v1 Haribel. He tried. He couldn't even 3v1 her. So yeah, he, he's low-key been taking some L's, bro. He, they, they've been showing his, his him getting stronger, but he hasn't like gotten a definitive W in my eyes. Um, hits uh, Toshiro, so I'd like to see him. I'd like to see more of him in the the the, the Thousand Year Blood War arc whenever that gets animated, because I like his character and he has one of my favorite Zapatos, the Ice Zapato. So anyway, fire. Um, I'm actually 10 episodes ahead on the Patreon if you're interested in watching those with the full reaction available, of course. So click the link down below in the description if you want to watch that. Other than that, y'all, y'all have a good one. I will see y'all next Bleach Reaction. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Peace out.